You guys are a good crowd. I hope you're having a lot of fun here in Las Vegas. I lost $30 playing roulette this afternoon. I'm stealing something from the hotel. You ever lose a little bit of money gambling? Start looking at shit on the walls going, what can I take to make up for the loss? I saw a $300 screen TV. I'm like, that's coming in my car. I'm taking that shit. Come on, people, when you go to a nice hotel, what does the average person take as a souvenir? What's your souvenir? Ashtray, towel. I take furniture. I actually walked out of the Mandalay Bay once with a love seat for my room. An entire love seat. You know other people walking around actually helped me put it in the elevator? Some guy tilted it, put it in the elevator for me. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm moving out. Then I started dragging it through the valet. Here's me with the thing, dude. I'm going through the valet like this with the love seat. Valet guy stopped me. He goes, where you going with the chair? I said, what are you talking about? I brought it here with me. I swear he put it in the trunk of my car. Then he asked me, is there anything else I can help you with? I said, eh, wait right there. I went back to my room and I took the phone. Fuck him, take that shit. I got rid of the phone though, kept getting wake up calls. Come on, people, you know you take something when you're in the hotel. Because when the lady who cleans rooms goes inside somebody else's room, she leaves that work cart in the aisle. You ever see the little work cart? And what do you all do? You rob that shit like you're 007, don't you? You ever go walking by the cart and you say to yourself, I'll take enough soap to last me a year. Boom, boom, boom. Not me, I take the entire cart. I want everything, I want everything. I need pillowcases. Because I like to get even with the lady who cleans my room. Because whenever she comes to clean your room, where are you most of the time? Sleeping. And you forget to put that thing on the doorknob that says, do not disturb. And they're coming in that room. Eight o'clock in the morning, they hit that door with that fucking attitude. They got an attitude and a little credit card bullshit. And they hit the door with that. Acaping. Acaping. You can laugh, people. They sound just like that and you know it. Acaping. Just once I want to open the door and go, what the fuck is a It's housekeeping. Shut the door. Try it again. You can do it. I'm always afraid they're going to open the door and I'm going to be standing there naked. I don't go to the bathroom or take a shower unless I know they're not in the hallway. I open the door. Where the hell are these motherfuckers? Then I shut the door. Housekeeping. I'm like, where were you? This morning, the lady was banging on the door and one of my biggest fears became a reality. I was going to the bathroom. And I'm sitting on the toilet with my pants around my ankles, but I was close enough to the door that I could actually hold it shut with my foot. The lady opened the door. She's like, housekeeping. I'm like, it's not a good time. She's like, housekeeping. I'm like, I know what it is. It's not a good time. Finally, she pushed the door. I'm like, fine, come on in. You happy? Get under my foot. You missed the spot. And stop looking at that cart. That ain't yours. I took that from the other floor. <laughs>